All right, we are ready to do our heart opening exercise. This is one of my favorites to do because it just busses that heart wide open. We're gonna be opening our arms out like this, and this is working the heart meridian lines of the arms. And what we're gonna be doing is, let me just kind of tilt it this way so you could see my hand, is we're gonna kind of be moving our arm similar to this motion. So almost like that curvature, and you want the spine to move with the movement. So don't force a stiff spine and kind of go like this. We really want that momentum to kind of arch and open. So think of your arms like wings as you're doing this motion. And we're gonna be listening to one of my favorite songs by, um, let me just make sure I get it right, Summer Kennedy, it is called Experience. So if you wanna sit um, on your bottom or if you prefer to sit down on your heels, whatever feels most comfortable for you, get on into it and let's get started.
Gently bring the palms up, relax the arms, and maybe give your shoulders a little shimmy and a shake. Couple deep breaths into the heart, vocal exhales out. You are majestic. You have the potential to soar to the highest heights, the potential to jump from the platform from which you've built yourself to be. If you would only allow this feeling of expansion feeling of aliveness in your being to flourish. Now we're going to open up one other energetic channel. We're going to extend the right arm out and we're going to flex the fingers and you should feel the stretch in the middle fingers and we're going to pull that arm back out. You should feel a stretch from that middle finger all the way down the palm through the arm and maybe even into this chest breast area. Breathe a couple times here. Keep the fingers flexing back. And now we're going to move the arm slightly up. Breathe. A little bit higher. And then release. Deep breath in. Exhale out. <sighs> Left arm reaches out towards the side, flex the fingers, breathe, bring it back a little bit further. Lift the arm up. A little higher. Bring it back a little bit more. Feel that stretch. <sighs> and then let it go. Beautiful. Bring the hands onto the heart. Breathe into the heart. <sighs> Whatever noise comes out, let it move through you. And now we're going to do a journal prompt exercise. And this is going to be one that is going to challenge you a little bit. And I would like for you to write down 25 things that you desire in, just in your life. Okay. And only five of those desires can be for somebody else. The rest of them are for you. Okay. And you cannot move on to the next journal question until these 25 are complete. So to give you some examples, um, start my own business, travel to California, um, begin my career in XYZ, start taking courses in XYZ. And it could be something as simple as staying committed to this 30 day reset, um, being consistent every morning and every evening, something very, very generic. So you can make this big, you can make these small 25 desires, only five of them could be for somebody else. Okay. Once you've completed those 25, I want you to step outside of your comfort zone and think of things that you desire that are way, way, way out of your field. So, for an example, be in a Broadway play. 
own a million dollar company, drive a G-Wagon, purchase my first car in cash, um, buy a house in cash, something that's a little far-fetched. And you're gonna put 25 of those and only five of those could be for somebody else. And the five meaning like maybe own a charity or donate a million dollars to a specific charity. So that would be something that would be um, a desire for somebody else, okay? So only five of those big, big, big um, ideas for manifestation will be for somebody else and the rest of the 20 are gonna be for you. And once you write them down, just allow them to be in a place in your journal or perhaps on a piece of paper that you fold up and you put in a secret place. Um, and we will visit that later on in this 30-day reset.